hello guys my name is destiny and welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're gonna go ahead and start working with the logout and the login authentication in this course so in the last one we did everything that we had to do about the register page and it was actually fun then this one we're gonna go ahead and start working with the login page as i have said earlier but before we dive right in do make sure to drop a like consider subscribing and also drop a comment on this video it really helps me and my small channel grow and it really means the world to me so let's go ahead and get started now the first thing you want to do is very simple so we want to come over to um, our urls.py file where the settings.py is sits in so this is it over here so we're just going to open up this urls.py and we want to import a couple of things okay the first one is going to be from django.contrib.art yeah i think that should be it we want to import views so this views that we imported now is going to hold the login view and the logout view so we want to import this as odds underscore views so this is what i was saying when i did this same thing over here so you, if you're following along let's say you watched the last video you're going to understand why i did this so this is why i did it had it been i imported um from django.country imports view and also did from stack users imports view you see this view over here and this view they're gonna clash but now i'm giving them different identification so whenever i want to call a view that's in this location i'm gonna call it as user view and whenever i'm gonna call a, a view that's in this location i'm gonna call it as odds view so that's what i want to do now the next thing i'm gonna do is just define a, a, a url for it so i'm gonna say parts and as you can see we already have a boilerplate over there so i'm gonna say parts uh, let's let's uh, go parts in line yeah and okay let's just go parts normally the way we usually do it now i want to go login slash so when the user goes to slash login they should get a login page so i want to say um login view so it's going to be login view or we're going to call odds views dot login view dot as underscore view we're gonna open that up in there and finally we want to give it a name and we're gonna call this login hopefully you understand what we are doing very easy then we want to make sure there's a comma over here so we don't mess things up so with this now um i just want to add the login template but do you remember how we did the register page so let's get back to our register um, our views.html sorry our views.py so in our views.py as you can see we have a template over here that's tag base register.html and this view is actually rendering it but right now we don't have to create a view that's gonna um like manually render the, the login form because we already did that in the urls.py over here so what we just want to do now is create a new um form over here that's gonna be a new html file that's gonna be login.html just like that and in here you remember i told you guys that we already have almost all this code built out so we don't have to stress ourselves again let's just come over here and grab one of them so it's login and i'm just gonna do that that way and we are gonna put it just in here yeah in here yeah i want to replace it with that one okay so this is what we have now for the login and let's actually see if it's gonna work so we come over to our website again this is it now when we come over to let's actually see if the website is still running yeah it says so when we come over to slash login okay this is working fine so it says template does not exist at this registration slash login so now we need to call the name of our template so how do we do that so we need to tell this url um file that our template is over here but how do we do that so all we have to do is very simple okay so we want to tell our templates um our url file that our template is over here so how do we do that we're just going to come in here and what we're going to do in there is very easy we're just going to say templates underscore name we're going to set it equal to a string so set it equal to a string i just hope that's that's the right way of doing it um i don't usually do this so you know it's not stuck to me so we're going to say it's in stack users instead it's in stack users slash login dot html just like that so now when we refresh this let's see what we are getting okay working perfectly fine but it says no crispy thing now we need to add the crispy 
form thing. So we're just going to come over here and we're going to copy all this, come back to our login.html. We're just going to paste it at the top over here. And also we want to end block content. So come down and paste this and end it. Okay, that's not looking good. So we ended the right way. And okay, what am I doing? So end block content just like that. So now when we refresh this now, it's working perfectly fine. But I just want one more thing. It says, um, let's see. Okay, it's end block instead of end block. Sorry for the errors. Okay, okay, okay. So this is looking pretty good now. So all we have to do is just call our form over here. So you remember the way we called forms in our previous HTML, um, sorry, our previous register.html, the way we did this over here. That's exactly the same thing we're gonna do. So all we have to do is very simple. We can just copy this, come over to, um, it's, it's login.html, and we're just gonna put paste it down here. So we're gonna paste it down here. And now when we refresh this, what do you notice? Now we have username and we have password. So let's try logging in. Okay, okay, it's working perfectly well. <laughs> But there is an error now, and the error is that, see, it's trying to log in, but it doesn't know where to go after it logs in, it's confused. So we need to tell it, hey, this is where you are supposed to go whenever you log in. So let's uh, let's just go ahead and say that. So in our settings.py, we're just gonna come down here, and we're gonna say login underscore redirect underscore URL. And we're gonna set this to, let's say for now, we're gonna set it to stackbase.home, okay? Hopefully you understand. So let's come over here and try logging in again. So when we hit sign up, you see, um, okay, it says stackbase.home, let's see. Okay, not stackbase, stackbase column home, not dot home. So let's try logging in again. Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, as you can see, it's working fine. So it brings us to the home page, and that's pretty good. So the next one we want to do is work on our URLs.py file. And on our URLs.py file, we're going to configure the logouts template. So we're going to set this to logout view. Dot as view. The template is going to be logout.html, and the name is going to be logout, just like that. And when we go to slash logout, we want to locate it. So with this now, I think that's pretty much what we want to do. Let's just go ahead and create the template file for it. I think we already have it. Let's just copy it and put it in there. So we're just going to copy this and just put it in there. Pretty good. So now when we come over to slash log out, what do you notice it says you have been logged out, logging again? Well, this is not looking good. So we have to extend. So over here, we are gonna um, come over here and let's copy this again. Come over to logout and we're gonna paste it. Okay, it didn't actually copy. So we're gonna copy this, come over to logout.html and we are gonna paste it. And also we're gonna paste it, but this time around, we don't need all this. We just need this one. And we're gonna add end over there. So now when you refresh, it's looking better. So it says you have been logged out, logging again. So I think everything is working perfectly well now. Now, when we come over to login, you see we can log in. When we come over to slash log out, it logs us out, no error. When we come over to slash register, it opens up the register page. So let's just go ahead and do um, some more things. For example, we want to add a functionality so that when a user is logged in, they don't have to see this login button again. For example, let's go ahead and log in. Let's just go to slash login. So we log in now. See, it's kind of weird still seeing the login and the sign up button. So we're going to get rid of this button in a second. So let's go ahead and do that. Firstly, before we get um, rid of the buttons, I want to actually, since we already have URLs, I want to just route them. So I'm just going to um, configure the URLs so that when we click on a button, it actually goes to what it's supposed to do. So for this one that says login, this is for the logout page, we're going to open up double curly brackets, percent percentage signs in them, call URL. We're going to paste that, just like that, login. So now when we come over to slash logout and click login, it takes us to the login page. That's pretty good. 
So the next thing we want to do is work on the login on the login page here. So the login page, we have this register thing over here. Let's paste this and we're going to change this to register. And what else do we want to do? Let's work on the register page. So in the register page, this is going to be login. Hopefully you understand what we are doing. Then finally, let's come over to the base.html and we're going to want to configure this ones. So this one's here, we're going to paste login in here and we're going to paste a register. So login and register. Okay, so with this now, let co let's come over to our website and also for the, the logo, I think we want to work on that too. So let's just locate where the logo is. Um, let's see. Let's just look for it. I think it's over here. So we're just going to paste this. And we're going to say stack base home just like that so when we refresh now and hit that okay um it's still not going anywhere okay see it's working now so it goes home but this ones are actually not going anywhere okay so that's pretty much what i want to do now when we hit login it takes us the login page when we hit sign up it brings us the sign up page also this little ones over here are still working so that's what i want to do now let's configure um this thing over here so that when we log in like this it now shows logout and profile page so that we can log out then we'll see login and sign up then when we log in we see logout and profile hopefully you understand what i'm saying so back to the base.html let's locate where the login and the logout is and this is it over here so what i want to do is very very easy i'm just gonna cut this and i'm gonna create double coil brackets and this one is gonna be if the user dot is so if the user dot is underscore authenticated so that means if the user is logged in then what do we want to do firstly also if the user is not logged in what do we want to do then lastly we want to make sure that we are ending if and if so let's do some things in here now so we're going to paste in what i copied he remembered and i'm going to paste in another one in here you remember too okay so if a user is logged in now we want to show them the logout page and the profile page so let me get rid of this so we show them the, the logout page and the profile page then if they are not logged in we show them the login page and the sign up page so let's come over here and refresh what do you say now login and profile but i think i want um the the profile to be over here i don't know for some reasons it looks good to me you just leave it, it doesn't really matter so login and log out now when we come over to profile when nothing happens and login log out to let's route it so this is now gonna be log out so let's refresh this again so now when we hit the log out button you see it logs out it says you have been logged out now when we hit the login button again and and sign up this is still sign up we are supposed to change this to sign in let's go and do that right now so in login.html let's change this to sign in okay okay refresh one more time yeah so sign in and as you can see we see profile and logout so this is working exactly the way we actually wanted it to work so right now you remember i told you guys that when a user when we create a new user they are supposed to land on the login page after their account was successfully created so that they can log in with the credentials that they have already so let's go ahead and do that so what i want to do is very easy um i want to redirect to the login page after the user logs in so let's come over to views.py now instead of redirecting to this place i'm just going to simply redirect to login just like that so let's refresh this and let's sign up a new user let's say this user is going to be um gift and let's add a, an email address let's add that over there and let's say testing three to one hit sign up okay as you can see it brings them to the login page it says account successfully created for this user over here so the user can now log in so when we hit sign in pretty good everything is working totally fine but there's one more thing now as you can see a user is logged in but if a user um okay let's just say a user is logged out now so a user is logged out but a user can still access the profile page while they are logged out and that's weird although we don't have any page here not yet but that's weird and when a user is logged in let's just sign in 
you see they can still access the register page that's weird so we don't want them to, to be able to do all this so how do we go about it so it's very easy what we're going to do is just use a, a login required and it's going to fix up everything for us so let's just go ahead and use a login required and it should work perfectly well so we come over to views and just down here we're going to import um i think it should be I, I i don't know i usually forget um the way it's the right way to import that um i think it's um, it's from django okay let's just try let's just try this from django dot contrib that's art dot decorators yeah something like that yeah it's decorators so we're gonna import login required okay yeah that's it actually got it so the next thing we want to do is add an at login required over here so now when a user is uh, logged in try accessing the register page they would stay access it because this actually tells a user to log in for example if a user is logged out and want to access the profile page although we don't have a profile yet we don't have a profile yet so nothing is going to happen but you see with this code over here it's going to restrict a user trying to access pages when they are not logged in and now we are going to do another one that's going to restrict users from accessing um some weird pages when they are logged in so i think that should be it for this video we have really done a whole lot of things and I think you guys really learned some things i don't want this video to be pretty long it's kind of short just like 18 or 19 minutes so if you learned something new do not forget to drop a like on this video consider subscribing also drop a comment as it will mean the world to me it really helps grow my channel anyway and if you guys enjoyed this video please 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 drop a like for the youtube algorithm and i'm really gonna be happy so i hope i'll see you guys in the next video we're gonna go ahead and set ahead and start working with the profile page and profile picture and all that and trust me it's gonna be fun so see you there bye